Why did the Oyster Park change names? What happened? Well, as you know, last year the premise of the Oyster Project was to clean up the water by filtering it through the farm. Right, so why didn't that work out? Did it have something to do with the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico? It may have something to do with that. As a result of the spill, people cannot eat shellfish from that area. Since New Jersey is a major shellfish producer, the State Department of Environmental Protection was concerned that people would harvest the shellfish, such as our oyster farm, and eat the contaminated oysters. So what is the new name of the project? It is called the HB Clean Water Project, and our goal is to find the very source of pollution to our waterways and to monitor the health of our waterways at different times throughout the year. Hey, why don't we watch the kickoff video to give you a better idea of the project? Sure. Across this oyster project, it's a new brand that our school got. They are going to introduce the oyster seeds in uh, in the Bay Area and see that how uh, Elizabeth can be benefited from making it more uh, healthy for other living things in that area. Well, the oyster project is about to try to take oysters. They open their mouths. They suck up about 50 gallons of water. Take all the bacteria and everything, and clean it out, and then the water like stays fresh. So if we put more oysters in the water. We use HP tablets and laptops in the classroom in various ways. Students use the HP laptops, Dino, and Gizmo to learn about oyster farming, estuaries, and wetlands. The teachers also provide training to their colleagues on the HP tablets and showed how to utilize Dino in their classrooms. It is important to highlight the many projects our students did in the classroom. Some of the projects we did were examining the possible effects of an oil spill on the environment. We also had students create their own micro-ecosystem within the classroom and examine how water temperature affects eel movement in fish. Year one culminated with the ISTE conference in Denver. Our goal was to share the impact of HP technology on student learning, instruction, and systemic support. From year one to year two, we continued water monitoring. However, in addition to salt water testing at Slater Park and the marina, we also tested fresh water at Matano Park and the Elizabeth River. Our partners this year included Future Cities Inc., Kane University, NJIT, and Jersey City University. Students from SHEP, NJIT, and Kane University became involved with our students, teaching them various skills such as how to use Google Mapping to identify estuaries and point and non-point sources. In addition to learning technical skills, the college students assisted our students with an art project which helped deepen their understanding. They created posters, sketches, and drawings that were representative of the HP Clean Water Project. Once complete, their findings were presented to other classes. In addition to the field trips to Slater Park and the marina, students were also taken to Matano Park and the Elizabeth River. While at the park and river, students utilized various technology in order to monitor the water quality and see the effects that various parameters have on the water and how point and non-point sources affect the water quality. Well, it's going to help me like, learn what I can do for my environment to make it better and how I can help the other youth, like the students that are you know, below me, like the elementary schools, to help them, you know, do better for, you know, how we live. Like, look at that, it's like so dirty. A lot of dirt. I think it will help give them a better future in this community. Yeah, and a better way to live. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. This is your first.
first time on the trip with us. So tell me what you have learned. <clears throat> I've learned how to uh, identify high tides and low tides in the, in the river here in our community. Um, I've noticed, I mean, I've learned how to like capture data. Yeah, mister, you should pop a Capture data on, uh, on the pH, temperature, ammonia, nitrate, turbidity, turbidity conductivity, and dissolved oxygen. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, and it's basically what we're doing. ...into the sewage treatment plant. During this trip, students were able to learn about the importance they gained an understanding of where water goes, how it travels through pipes, becomes filtered, and comes out through their kitchen faucet. The of year two ended in a conference at Philadelphia.